Can you solve this equation? This is not a typical fourth degree polynomial. If you pay attention, you'll notice the coefficients are symmetrical. I want to show you a little trick to solve these equations and generalize the idea to any even degreed polynomial. To start off, we are going to divide both sides by x squared. Now, simplify the terms and you get this. Since the coefficients are symmetrical, you can factor out terms with the same coefficient. Now comes the cool part. We're going to make a change of variable. x equals x plus 1 over x. Given this change of variable, we'll be able to replace the part after the 5. What about the term multiplying the constant 6? Well, let's try to compute big X squared. As you expand the formula, you'll find that we end up with exactly the terms that we want, plus the constant 2. Therefore, we can rewrite our equation as 6 times x squared minus 2 plus 5x minus 8, which simplifies to 6x squared plus 5x minus 20. And this is a plain old regular quadratic equation that we know how to solve. The quadratic will give two solutions, that we can plug in turn inside the variable change equation. Each of these two equations are actually quadratic themselves. Each has two solutions, which makes a total of four solutions. And that makes sense since we're solving a fourth degree polynomial. It turns out, you can do this not only with polynomials of degree four, but with any polynomial with an even degree. Let's take a polynomial of degree six, for example. This would be the general form. This time, we divide by x to the third power, and then factor out the terms. The variable change is the same. We need to verify that it still works for x to the third power. Previously, it worked out just fine because the x's cancelled out and we only had a constant left. Let's see how this goes now. We expand, simplify, reorder. And this last part is nothing but the new variable x itself. So actually, this too works out nicely. We can now plug the variable inside the equation, and after a simplification, we end up with a polynomial of degree 3. It seems that when the coefficients are symmetrical, we can divide the degree of the polynomial by 2. But how can we be sure that the variable change will always work out nicely as it did here? We can try to generalize the idea. Given a polynomial with an even degree, say 2 times k, and given the symmetry in the coefficients, let's carry out the same steps we did earlier. First, divide by x to the degree divided by 2, which in this case is x to the power of 2k divided by 2, or simply x to the kth power. Then, factor out the terms with the same coefficient. And finally, do the variable change. Now comes the question. Can we always write big X to the kth power as X to the k plus 1 over X to the k plus some polynomial in big X, where the degree of that polynomial is smaller than k? This means two things. First, whatever is remaining after X to the k plus 1 over X to the k has to be expressible in terms of big X, and only big X. And second, it has to be a polynomial whose degree is less than k. Otherwise, the variable change is useless. We will be replacing one polynomial of degree k with another polynomial of degree k, or even worse, with a degree larger than k. So this is what we need to verify. Fortunately, the tools to prove this are not too complicated we only have to know the binomial formula. Given this, we can compute different powers of our new variable big X. After simplifying the fraction, we get to this formula. Here is a reminder of what we want to prove. We can expand the sum and notice how the powers of X are symmetrical. Not only this, but because the binomial coefficients are also symmetrical, we can factor out the first and last terms, the second and second to last terms, and so on.
the first part of the result is exactly what we want, and the second part is written in terms of smaller powers of big X, which in turn are also going to be written in terms of smaller powers, and so on. That completes the proof for why the degree of P is going to be smaller than K, or in this case, N. So, to summarize, if you have a polynomial with an even degree, say 2K, and if the coefficients are symmetrical, then you can transform it into another polynomial with a degree twice as small by following these steps. First, divide by x to the kth power. Second, factor out the terms with the same constants. And finally, apply the variable change x equals x plus 1 over x. And that's it.